Tween Scene Online, Plushy Among Us Crewmate. Hi, tweens. This month, you're going to create a plushy crewmate from the popular video game Among Us. It'll have a little backpack, a faceplate, and the colors will vary. In your kit, you're going to find a piece of cardstock where you will have to cut out your templates. Uh, there will be a needle, washi taped in there. You'll find some gray fabric and some felt for your thing, some thread. And your needles should be taped to your cardstock and some soft uh, polyfill foam. To get started, what you have is embroidery thread. An embroidery thread has a special characteristic in that it's got six strands and you can divide up the strands to make them thinner. So for this project, you're going to want to split off two strands from your supply of thread every time you start to sew something. This will make your project easier to complete uh, it'll give you enough thread to complete it, and it'll also make it easier to um, thread your tapestry needle. So, basically you just take two strands and pull them apart from the rest of the other four strands. It can get a little tangled, um, but the strands aren't so long that it should be a difficult task. Once you have two strands together, isolated, then you can go ahead uh, and cut out your shapes. You're going to trace and cut out the faceplate out of the gray fabric. And for this, you're going to need to uh, use either a pencil or black pen. Um, the side that you trace will be the inside so that you don't see any pen marks. Your other um, pieces will be out of their, your colored felt. In my example here, it's blue. Once you've cut out your face plate, can set it aside. Like so. Alright, so you're going to need your trace your crewmate shape twice. Once for the front, once for the back. like that. Your cross shape, which will become the backpack, you only need to do one of. Once you have those traced, then you'll be able to Cut them out. So you'll have the faceplate set aside, and you can go ahead and cut out all three pieces of your crewmate.
once again, um, I've used pencil or pen, black, black pen here to trace it. That will be the inside of my, sh of my uh, crewmate plush so that if there's any stray pen marks, you won't be able to see it. Now just to cut out the backpack shape. like that. All right, next thing I'm going to do is just line up my shapes here, make sure that they're fairly even, uh, trim any little bits that may have been uh, in, uh, not cut properly. You can see I have a little corner up here that's sticking out. So I'm just going to trim that. I've got my two pen traced up parts to the side. The next thing I'm going to do is um, thread my needle. I'm going to use the gray thread to start with. <clears throat> Again, at this point, I'm just using two strands of the embroidery thread. Thread my needle. If you have trouble threading it, you might need to dampen the ends of the thread to help get it through the needle. Tie it off in a knot at the end. I'm going to double knot it to, so that it doesn't slip through the felt. I'm going to position my piece of flannel. I want it just to be about there. And then coming from uh, making sure that the any pen marks are on the back side there, then I'm going to position, uh, pull the needle through from the back of the piece through to the gray faceplate. And then back down through my crewmate's uh, colored fabric. So in through the gray, out through the blue. Now you want to try and keep your, your stitches fairly even, evenly spaced. And just continue going in and out around the faceplate. You can see the back there.
just continuing around. As I said, you just want to try and keep your stitches equally spaced. It doesn't matter as much for this part since there won't be any um, stuffing to worry about getting out from between the stitches. If you start to run short on thread, you may have to tie a knot at the back and continue on with some of the remaining four strands of the embroidery thread. You'll want to make sure that you stop at a point where you can make a knot at the back. I almost go too long here in this video. <laughs> trying to see if I could finish. See, it's a little too short. So I'm going to bring my thread to the back. trim it close to the needle and it was even a little too short for me to comfortably make a, a knot here but you can make a knot if you have enough space if you have enough thread left if not you can just make sure that you um, pin that part down with your new thread when you finish up. So I'm going to take some more of my embroidery thread. Thread my needle again.
And then I'm just going to basically make sure that I catch the back of those loose ends with my needle as I finish up this last little bit. I'm going to hold them down with one finger. Now I'll make sure it doesn't come unraveled. And you can see I just tacked that down, caught it up with the new thread. Finishing up the last couple of stitches. And then my face plate is sewn on. So now I'm just going to trim my gray thread here, tie a knot. I'm done with the gray thread. Tie a knot to make sure it's secure. If you want to, you can trim any of the extra thread. You won't be able to see it when you've stuffed your crewmate, but if you want to keep it looking neat, you can trim that. There you go. There's the front. All ready. This next part is going to be the trickiest part of our sewing. So I've got my blue um, Embroidery thread, I've isolated two strands, again, as I did with the um, gray. Now, I'm going to work inside out for this part. I'm going to make sure I have my part with the, the ink on it uh, outside, and I'm going to fold a little corner in, and I'm going to sew those two edges together. So just back and forth and across that corner. And this only needs maybe four or five little stitches. And you're going to do this for each of the four corners of your cross shape and this is going to make our backpack. If you want to be extra secure you can go back across to where you started. And when you meet up with the thread that you made before, you can tie it in a knot and trim it. like that. So I've got my first corner done. Now I'm going to work on my next corner. I have plenty of thread on this. So I'm going to just make another knot at the end of the thread that's left on my needle. 
I'm going to make my next two corners meet up. You can see that's what it would look like inside out once we turn it right side out. I'm going to turn meet, make my other two corners meet and repeat. As I said, this is the trickiest part just because it's a little hard to visualize. But if you need to, finish watching the video and then do it. I've, uh, when I was learning how to do it, I stopped and started it a couple of times to make sure I was doing it correctly. Again, you should only need four or five, maybe six stitches to go back and forth across the corner. Once you come back to where you started, you can knot it off and trim your thread. Make another knot on the thread remaining on your needle. And then you can work on the third corner. And fold the two sections together. Make sure your felt doesn't get caught up in your fabric, I mean in your thread. One more corner to do to go. All right. Make a knot in my remaining thread. <clears throat> my last two corner bits together. Sew them closed.
knot it off. Right, you can trim the ends off of the threads at this point, make it a little easier when you're sewing on. Just make sure you don't cut the knot. Now you can turn it right side out and you'll see you have a rectangle with some corners. And that's our backpack. You can kind of shape it to the way you want it. Uh, the next part you're going to do is you can still use your remaining thread on the needle, make another knot, and we're going to sew our backpack to the back of our crewmate. You're going to want to make sure that you, you sew it to the part without any pencil lines or ink lines because that's going to be the visible back. You're going to position it. You can do it sideways across like that or vertical. I like it uh, horizontally shaped this time. Now I'm going to come in from the back of my crewmate and then just catch the edge of the backpack with my needle and then go back as close as I can to the backpack into the crewmate like so and then just like with the faceplate you're going to go out and around trying to make nice even stitches these ones you want to be fairly close together so that the stuffing doesn't come out. go. You're going to stitch around most of the way to get it closed before we add some polyfill, some of the stuffing. And don't worry if it gets a little squished while you're sewing it because the stuffing will puff it out at the end. Continuing around the corners. Make sure you pull your thread tight each time as you're going across. You don't want any loose hanging thread.
I tried to get thread that would match the felt as closely as possible, but you might notice some differences depending on the color you receive. Working on the last little bit here. Sorry about that, I had to pause and fix my glasses. All right, I'm getting close to where I'm going to want to put in my stuffing. Not quite, but you want to make sure it doesn't fall out while you're still sewing it. So, you want to make sure you leave enough room that you can stuff your finger in there to help shape the backpack. All right, at this point, I'm going to get a little bit of my polyfill, which should be what you have in the baggie there. And you just need a little bit. And I'm going to stuff my backpack. Or my crewmate's backpack, I should say. And I'm going to kind of shape it with my fingers, make sure the corners stick out. Maybe add a little bit more. And then I'm going to finish closing up my backpack. Get my last few stitches in. When you get uh, to the part where you started, and you've come around in a circle, you'll be able to push your needle through to the back, knot it off, and trim it. One more. So 
Okay, everything looks good, nice and tight. I can probably squeeze in one more stitch here. So make sure none of my polyfill comes out, my stuffing. All right. And I can knot my thread. Again, you won't be able to see this part because it's the inside of your crewmate, but if you want to keep it nice and neat, you can trim the thread ends after you've created your knot. All right, so there's the back of our crewmate. There's the front. You're gonna line them up. And then we're gonna stuff it. Okay, after you've threaded your needle again, again using just two strands of the blue embroidery thread. sure to make it's it's a uh, not tangled at all for some reason this time it mine wanted to tangle up make my knot at the end of the thread make sure you're, you're knotting at the end of your thread not at not close to the needle otherwise it's just gonna pull through Now, I'm going to show you a fairly, well, it's a new stitch to me, not new to other people, but um, once I've got my needle threaded and my crewmates two halves lined up, I'm going to start on the inside of my top piece and push out, pull through, and then the next stitch will be the inside going from the inside to the outside of the back piece. So you're always going to go from the inside pieces to the outside. Inside to the front. Now inside to the back. Keeping my stitches close together so that the polyfill doesn't come out inside to the back inside to the front inside to the back Side to the front. This will help keep your stuffing inside. Looks pretty neat. Try not to get tangled. If you do mess up, felt is fairly forgiving and you can 
gently push your needle back through where you came out if you need to. You'll see I do that a couple of times. If you lose track of what you're doing. All right. Side to the front. Inside to the back. And as with the backpack, I'm going to go all the way around my figure until I get to her to uh, enough spot where I can have the stuffing go in without it falling out. Keep going round. Making sure you keep track of what you're doing. <laughs> Try not to get your thread tangled. Now, if you prefer to do another stitch, you can. Just make sure that you keep your stitches together fairly tight and even so that your stuffing doesn't come out. Sorry, I had to adjust the camera there. Continue to stitch around the legs. This may be the only tricky part of this because it's uh, a little tight.
continuing to go along the second leg. I find once you get the hang of the stitch, it goes pretty quickly. Almost at the point where we can start stuffing. Remember, if you start to run short on thread, that you can uh, tie it off in a knot, add more. Get a little bit more before I stuff. I want to make sure I have most of the leg sealed up. Sorry if the video freezes for a second. Screwed up because I wasn't paying attention. So now I have to pull my thread through. Just get it unknotted. There we go. All right. Okay. Now I'm at the part where I'm going to stuff it. So I've got the rest of my polyfill here. You may or may not use all of it. A little bit goes a long way. First, I'm going to make sure it goes in down into the legs. I want a nice puffy crewmate.
and then I can finish sewing them closed. sure that's tight. There we go. Just a few more stitches. Now what you can do is do one final stitch out from the inside to the front. You can kind of thread your thread through there a little bit and create a knot and tuck it in and hide it away. Always make sure to double knot so it doesn't slide out. Trim your ends. And if you want, you can use the end of your needle to kind of tuck the knot in into the felt. Hide it away a little bit there. All right, and you have your plushy crewmates. You can see that backpack was horizontal. This backpack, uh, my first sample was kind of vertical. It's up to you how you want to sew it on, but I hope you enjoy making your crewmates. Bye, friends.